okay? 82 is the divisor, so 82 goes on the outside of my bracket. On the inside of the bracket is 172.2. Now, there can be decimals under the division bracket. Okay? So under here, we can have decimals. Okay? Out here, there cannot be any decimals in the divisor. Okay, we'll cover one of those here in a second uh, once I do this one. Um, but let's talk about dividing this out. Go back up. Okay to move up now? No. Holy cow, start riding faster. Are you past the first one, the debt divisor quotient dividend? No. <laughs> so if we look at our problem here, 182 and 172.2. I said that there's not going to be any remainders in these problems, so you've got to carry them out till they terminate, okay, until you end up with a zero remainder. You will not have any repeating decimal numbers in these answers. So if you get something that repeats, you've done something wrong, okay? These will end up finishing out terminating. You're not going to have anything like 82, remainder 14, okay? You must carry it out all the way past the decimal, okay? So like on this one, 82 into 172.2. Okay, there are no decimals in the divider, so I don't have to do anything starting off. Like I said, I'll show you one of those here in a minute. But I want to divide 82 into 172. Okay, 82 goes into 172 two times. That would be 164. That would be remainder 8. So I'm going to bring down my 2, and I'm going to bring up my decimal and just put it right there where it is in the division bracket. Okay? Now, 82 goes into 82 how many times? One time. Okay, it goes one time. That would be 82, remainder zero. So my answer is 2.1. Okay, you will have decimal answers. Okay, you may have some whole number answers. I don't think there's any whole number answers, but I don't remember every single problem in this assignment. Okay? So don't, you know, don't start freaking out when all your answers are in decimal because that's what we're talking about. Okay? Um, now, let's look at one where there is a decimal in the divisor. Um, there's one right there. Okay? Three point... 744 divided by 11.7. .7. OK? 
Okay? So, as we stated a while ago, this one would look like this. 11.7 into 3.744. Okay? Now, I cannot have that decimal right there in my divisor. I can't have that. So I have to move it. I have to move it out of the number, which means I move it one place to the right. That moves it out of the number. Okay? Now it's at the back of the number where every single whole number has it. Now, what I do to the divisor, I must also do to the dividend. Okay? So if I move it once there, I've got to do the same thing on the inside. I've got to move it once. Okay? So my new problem then, now that I've moved it, is 117 into 37.44. Okay. I'm going to put my decimal already up there because I just always like doing that. That way I don't forget it. Okay. But you don't have to do it that way. This one then... Then I've got 117 into 374, okay? Well, I can look at how many times does 11 go into 37? This is just an estimate. I'm coming up with an estimate. 11 goes into 37 how many times? Three times, okay? So let's try three. So I put the three over the four. Three times seven is 21, carry my two. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 would be what? 5. Do what? Huh? It didn't. 3 times 7 is 21. So there's my 1 right there. And then I added the 2 from the 21 to my 1. And then I'm multiplying 3 times 1, which is 3. Add 2 to the 3. And that's 5. So that's where I get the 5, the five right there. Let me make that clear. Okay, now I take 3 times this 1 here, and that makes 3. Okay, so that's 351. In other words, all I did was this right here. That's all I did. Okay. Now if I subtract those two numbers, that gives me 23. Now I bring down the 4, and I have 234, okay? 117, look at my estimate again, 11 goes into 23 how many times? Really? Twice, thank you. We'll try 2. 2 times 7 is 4, carry my 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 would be 3. 2 times 1 is 2. So 234 gives me a zero remainder. So that's 0 0.32 is your answer. Okay, once you move it, before you start, you don't move the decimal after you're done. Okay, you just move it out of the divisor at the beginning create your new problem, and then divide. I thought you had Henry. Okay. All right, let's try this one on your own. 13.8, or excuse me, 1.387 divided by 0.19. Okay. Try that on your own, and then we'll... I'll give you a couple of minutes and we'll... Okay, let's make sure that we've got this one down. Keep working. If you're working on 25 or 22, keep working. Um, this one this one would be 0 0.19 into 1.387. Okay. And I have to move the decimal two places to the left. Same thing there. 
Then you've got 19 into 138.7. Okay, 19 goes into 138. Basically, if you look at 20 into 140, that's the way we can get an estimate. 20 goes into 140 seven times. So you try seven, that comes out to be 133. Remainder five, bring down my seven, bring up the decimal. Okay, 19 goes into 57 three times. Be 57. Remainder zero. Okay, now if we look at number 22, 25.08 divided by 4.56. Okay. Now, listen, 4.56 into 25.08. We have to move the decimal two places out here, so we have to do the same thing on the inside. So that gives me 456 into 2,508. Okay. Now... 456 doesn't go into 2, it doesn't go into 25, it doesn't go into 250. Okay, so I've got to figure out how many times 456 goes into 2,508. Okay, that looks like probably 5 times. The reason I say 5 is because I'm looking at 4 goes into 25, okay, goes 6 times. We'll see if it's five or six. Okay, so that's our estimate. Five times six is zero. Carry my three. Okay. Five times five is 25 plus three would be eight. Carry my two. Five times four is 20 plus two would be 22. That would be eight. Borrow. Make that 10. Make that two. Two. So two twenty eight. Now I've got to put another I've got to put the decimal and I've got to add a zero. I'm gonna bring that zero down and I'm gonna bring my decimal up. Well, we know that four hundred and fifty six goes into two thousand two hundred and eighty five times. So that would be the same thing we just did. No, 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 no. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. You've distracted the class long enough. Sit down. Sit down. And that's zero. So the answer to that one is 5.5. Okay. Now, here's what your work is. It's not very much, and we've done a couple of them already. Okay. We're doing 2.4, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 31. I'm still looking here. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. That's all.